Clinton County Detention Center employees have tested positive for COVID-19 today. Big 2's Felice Romero spoke with officials to get more details on this. She joins us live in studio. Hi, Felice. Good evening, Katie. According to the Midland County Sheriff, David Kreiner, in addition to those two positive, nine detainees have been tested for COVID-19. Of those nine, three have come back negative, and the other six are waiting for their results. Two detention center workers from the Midland County Sheriff's Office have tested positive for COVID-19. One employee's last day working was June 15th, the other on June 17th. Since then, both are self-quarantined. Yesterday morning, he said that they were now checking their temperature and that I think the officers, all of them, we're now wearing um, masks and gloves. The woman who wants to remain anonymous spoke with her husband Monday, and she says that's when she first heard about COVID-19 in the jail. The city of Midland later confirming cases Wednesday. According to the sheriff, once they are booked in the jail, they take each detainee's temperature at least three times and provide them with disinfectant supplies. As far as them providing disinfectant, I don't know what they're talking about when they don't even have anything to clean with. Like... And they ran out of toilet paper several times. It's things like that, body mask and those sorts of things. You have churches and all kind of nonprofit um, organizations that make them and give them out. These things can be donated for free, but yet and still they want to keep everything quiet. For what? We're talking about people's lives here. As for right now, no detainees have tested positive. Nine have been tested. The Midland County Sheriff David Kreiner sending us a statement saying, quote, based on the professional opinion of our medical staff, they may or may not be tested for the COVID-19 virus, end quote. They screened them based on a set of questions recommended by the jail commission and the CDC. In the event that an inmate will need to go into isolation, the sheriff says they will be given a mask and refer to their medical staff who will conduct an assessment on them. Reporting live in studio, Feliz Romero, Big 2 News.